Greetings, Southern Cameroonians. Greetings, Ambazonians. This is King Echo. King Echo has decided to talk about four interesting articles that happened this that were written this week. Articles that I find very, very interesting, and I want to share my views about these articles. And one of the articles is France offers 40 billion to rebuild Northwest and Southwest region. Donald Trump to suspend Cameroon from African Growth and Opportunity Act. Cameroon Boya Council gets interim mayor for this after Ekema Patrick's death. And the natural disaster in Bafosam. And in that natural disaster in Bafosam. The reason why I'm actually going to talk about that particular is because of the fact that Stanley and uh, decided to, you know, put himself or get involved, you know, in that tragedy, that natural tragedy that happened in Bafusan. But anyway, they start with um, France offers 40 billion to rebuild. No ways as ours. First of all, France. Let me let me let me tell you something. France to the French people, you know, to Macron and he, and his entire people. You owe Southern Cameroon money that you can't even pay. You owe us a lot of money. Because for the past fifty something years, you've used like public Cameroon to recolonize and exploit us of our resources so 40 billion cfa that you want to give to rebuild southern cameroon is an insult and that 40 billion cannot bring the death of all those people who were killed by the by like property cameroon the country that you control so we don't need your 40 billion. We will actually gonna demand more from France because they owe us that much. They've exploited us for over 50 something years. They have you utilized all our resources for their own benefit. And they want they, they want to add insult after exploiting us by giving us 40 billion dollars. I mean that is just shit. As a matter of fact, I declare this to Macron and France. We don't need France in Africa. Period. We want France completely out of Africa. The future of Africa will determine their future. And one of that main factor is the fact that we want to not do business with France because France is is a devil. And they have exploited us for too long. For us to just sit quiet and do nothing. They've exploited Africans, Africa for so long. But this decision will be based on all the French African nations. If they have the guts, the boldness to stand up and fight against this gigantic uh, vampire called France. Now go to... Um, Donald Trump to suspend Cameroon from African Growth and Opportunity from the African Growth and Opportunity Act. Well, anyway, I'm going to put this as simple as I can because I don't want to really go on into, into the nitty gritty. But the fact is, the United States did what is best for the United States based on what based on the evidence that they have. But the fact is this: Cameroon, you like public you Cameroon, you have taken so many opportunities from. The citizens of Southern Cameroon and your own French Cameroonian citizens, because the fact is, this, the French Cameroonian citizens are cowards, are weak. They don't have the gut to stand again, stand against the, the seventy-year-old or eighty-year-old leader and all those ministers who keep destroying the future of French Cameroon. They don't, they don't have the guts, the boldness to do that. But now they think they want to fight behind this other guy who is who was supposedly selected or who was supposedly supposedly won the election and he was put in jail. But anyway, that is their business. The fact is that Southern Cameroon is a free nation, and if they want to fight, 
but I give them the I, I they should get get the courage to fight all those old useless ministers and 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 the the president of Life Republic Cameroon. Them concentrate on that. Because if they don't, they don't have a future. Those old people are just there sucking the wealth. And they're not creating a future for French Cameroonians. So, well, it's up to the French Cameroonian citizens to stand up and fight their government. As, apart of, as for Southern Cameroonians, we are a free nation. You can see that from our great fighter who defended and won. And then I'm going to go to the next um, interesting um, article that I, f I found quite interesting. The fact that they already got a, a boy already has a, a boy council gets an interim mayor for this after the Ekema after Ekema Patrick's death. But the fact is, this, it doesn't matter if you get another interim um, mayor in. Boya. Boya is part and is the capital of Southern Cameroon. So if you are becoming the interim governor, thinking that you're gonna continue the evil act of like public Cameroon, well, this time we're not gonna even allow you to do that because they're gonna have to just take you out. I'm talking to the interim mayor, supposed interim mayor, mayor that was selected after. The f after the fourth day of Kim Patrick's passing, you know, so Boyer is the capital of Southern Cameroon, and we can't have a mayor, an interim mayor, who bow down to President Pobia and the government of Life of Pre Cameroon. If you try go against the people's wish, well, we take you out. It's as simple as that because this is a war time, and to the natural. Disaster that happened in Bafoussam. Well, French Cameroon citizens. I don't know why Stanley Enna think that he had to be the one to put his face, you know, on this disaster. You, uh, Stanley Enna, you're from Manu. Have you have you have you been to Manu lately? Manu is empty. Do you know why? Because you have French Cameroonian military killing your own brothers and sisters. But you've never said anything about that. And then a disaster, a natural disaster happened in Bafusam. Oh, you decided to show your face. And what the fuck are you doing? Honestly, Stanley, you know. We get it. You you, you rose from Bafusam. So Bafusam is your home. I guess it is your home. Which means that Manu is no longer your home. So you've disowned Manu. Well, since you've disowned Manu by doing this act, Manu is gonna disown you and Southern Cameroon is gonna disown you. So you too stand you know, you better just stay in Bafosa and don't go back to Manu because Manu is empty. And when we stand you know, when we the Southern Cameroon people, the Southern Cameroon community fight we continue to fight for our independence and we when we achieve it well you will have to answer to us because i don't know why you have you, so many people so many many people have died because of the military of life public cameroon you say nothing about that so many you said nothing about it, but you want to champion the natural disaster that happened. Even if it's not a natural disaster or whatever, but the fact is that they say it's a natural disaster. And some people are claiming that it's the government of like public that caused the natural disaster. Either way, I don't give a damn. The fact is that ah, your own people are dying and they'll be killed by French Cameroon. And you say nothing. For a man from Manu, but you decide to sh support and show all your pride for Bafusam. As me, as a Manu man, I don't give a damn what happened to Bafusam. Bafusam don't give a damn about what happened to me. 
That I know. Because they don't give a damn what happened to Saron Cameron. Those people from Bafusama, they weren't even going. They are part of the military. That go to Saron Cameron and kill so many man, you people. The, the land that you, were, you came from, your father came from. Your grandparents came from, but you don't say anything. You don't have the God to say, the God, the courage to say anything about what is happening inside Southern Cameroon. But you want to be the champion of Bafusam. Well, thank you, Mr. Stanley Enyo. Thank you very much for doing that. But the fact is this when we because we are gonna achieve our independence, well, the people of Southern Cameroon will decide on your faith. And say that. This is King Angel. Until next time.